Hey friends, let me let you in on a little secret. Everyone loves to be praised and receive compliments, even people who are kind of uncomfortable at times when you dole them out. Do you know why I say this with full confidence? Because I used to be one of those people who didn't know what to do besides feel awkward when someone gave me an accolade for anything. It's almost weird to say it, but the reason why it made me uncomfortable is because I was not used to hearing praise very often. I mean, really, people are so much more ready to give out criticism than they are compliments, which is unfortunate. It's like it creates a discomfort of sorts when you hear something good instead. And when you hear criticism after criticism, especially when you are younger or in a formative stage of your life, it kind of does a number on your self-esteem, doesn't it? Why are we like this? To me, it's similar to watching people's behavior at a funeral. They say nice things about the person who has passed. They bring flowers, all nice gestures, but did you say nice things to that person while they were alive? Did you bring them flowers then? Well, why the heck not? They don't hear you now. They would have enjoyed those flowers a lot more on their kitchen table too, just saying. Chewie agrees. But anyway, back to the point, I am a big, big fan of complimenting people. Why? Because I truly believe that compliments, appreciation, telling people you love them, etc., is paramount to having positive, healthy relationships with others. This is especially important in your closer inner circle types of relationships because look, friends, when you compliment someone like a partner or a close friend, it makes them feel seen and heard and appreciated. And who doesn't want that? Feeling appreciated makes everyone feel good. And when you feel good, you're happier, your relationship with that person becomes stronger, you're willing to do more for those people and in those circumstances. And on the flip side of that, nobody wants to be constantly criticized. Nobody wants to feel unappreciated or talked down to or blamed for everything or have disrespect disguised as a joke lobbed at them. Those things are absolute relationship killers when they happen over and over. I mean, nobody wants to be in a relationship of any kind where they feel more judged than admired. That kind of thing builds resentment and increases tension. It is a slow poisoning of goodwill with another person. And listen, you can't poison something and then later be surprised when it dies. So does this mean that you can only say nice things to everybody all the time? Of course not. There is nothing wrong with constructive criticism. It can be done with kindness. In fact, that last part, kindness, that's the key. Our ability to offer that is one of our most redeeming qualities as human beings. So when you see something beautiful in another person, why not tell them? When you appreciate someone for who they are or what they do for you or others, or you appreciate them for any reason at all, why not tell them? If you have someone close to you who constantly shows up for you and you are grateful for them, why not tell them? As I have said before, the acceptable time to tell people you love and appreciate them is any time, friends, any time. Trust me when I say that it does make a difference. It will improve your relationships and it will make you happier in the long run to spread a little good too. That's all I've got for you this week, Chewy. That's all Chewy has for you too. So I will be back next week with another priority message. Until then, take good care of yourselves. Bye.